The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Welcome to the 2040 I.O. from Vectra. This is part of the Smokercraft family, and you may have heard of the 2040 in the past, but this is the first time you'll see it with a fishing package. I believe you're really going to love it. Come on aboard. Let's take a look at the 2040 I.O. from Vectra. With family and fishing features combined, this model is sure to become your favorite SUV on the water, of course. Vectra strives to fulfill the need for style, function, and feature-rich design with all their boats, but this one is a shot out of the park. A stainless steel rub rail is part of the optional packages seen here on our test boat, and these docking lights make the night approaches safer. Up here you have a concealed four-step beach boarding ladder, making getting aboard at your favorite beach easier. The fishing chairs are the first indication of the dual identity of this deck boat. Between them is a handy live well up front, and just behind the port chair is a connection to add a trolling motor up front. Of course, to have a good fishing boat, you need to have casting chairs. The 2040 I.O. takes care of this with two up front, and you can put one on the swim platform in the back. The spacious seating at the bow wraps around and has low rails and grab safety bars and easy reach for everyone wanting a little more comfort in rough weather. Hinge seat bases allow large items to store readily inside the seat bases. In the front of the seat bases, you can see indentions to add fillers to convert the entire front into a sun pad. When it's time to serve snacks, a table sets up quickly. The helm station creates a large storage locker below, and courtesy light is just above the door to light the deck at night. Across the top is a molded-in drink holder and a sink with a pull-out sprayer to rinse off after a cool dip. The helm has plenty of leg room and features a tilt wheel. A seaworthy stereo provides the tunes and has an MP3 jack for your own mix of tunes. The dash has simulated aluminum accents, a 12-volt socket, and aircraft-style paddle switches with push-button circuit breakers. The instrument cluster has analog gauges, and a live well pump switch and another accessory plug is in the right side panel. When you lift the port bench seat up, it also lifts up the carry-on cooler lid. Drink holders are molded in, and there's a three-rod rack in the aft port wall. In the floor between the port lounger and helm is a large sole locker for large items that's protected with a plastic liner. The aft bench seat also has storage and houses the cranking battery. The small sun pad across the back doubles as an engine hatch over the 4.3 liter Mercruiser on our test model. The walkthrough is located on the port side and has a convenient swim shower. Also in the walkthrough is another live well for aft casting station. The aft concealed boarding ladder is in the port corner. Fender storage and a wet locker along with LED lighting wrap up the stern. The 2040 I.O. measures 20 feet 4 inches stem to stern and rides on a beam width of 102 inches. She weighs in at 2,325 pounds dry and is rated for a maximum of 260 horsepower. I tested the 2040 on a very windy day on an inland lake. She maneuvers around the dock easily and out in the water she handled the chop very well delivering smooth turns. I found she only reached 42.4 miles per hour at 4,500 RPM. Cruise was 24.7 miles per hour at 3,000 RPM for a range of 185 miles. She's on plane in 1.8 seconds and up to 30 miles an hour in 7.8 seconds. Well, that about wraps it up on the 2040 I.O. from Vectra. As you can see, she's got the family features you need and the fishing features that you want to be able to go out on any weekend you choose. Be sure and take a look at the 2040 I.O. from Vectra.